Hi readers, welcome back to Reading with Christy. I hope you're doing well. Now, have you ever heard of the story of Humpty Dumpty? You know, Humpty, the one that sat on the wall and had a great big fall? Well, what we didn't know is that Humpty Dumpty had a sister. To find out what happens to Humpty Dumpty's little sister, you need to get comfortable and join me for this read aloud of Dimity Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Everyone knows the story of Humpty Dumpty. Not so many know the story of his little sister, Dimity. Now her story can be told. Dimity Dumpty was born by the roadside she cried a small note in perfect tune with a blackbird singing outside her window. It's a girl, cried her mom and dad, overjoyed. Humpty did a cartwheel and two double twists. The Dumpty family was part of a traveling circus. Along many roads they bumped, down icy winter highways and up summer country lanes from town to town. As he grew, Humpty turned into something of a rascal. Sit down, Humpty, his mom often said to him. One of these days, you'll take a tumble. Dimity grew too. Unlike her brother, she was shy and timid as a field mouse. Her small voice lost itself in the noise of the wheels and the dust of the road. But it was in the dust of the road that a gift lay waiting for her one day. It was Dimity's father, Dominic, who found the old pen. He removed the case and, from the tube inside, made his daughter a little silver flute. Dimity's first notes were soft as the breeze itself. There was always much to do when the circus came to town. The hen to be fed and watered, ropes to be pulled, stakes to be hammered in, and the big top to go up. And there were shows to be performed. Dimity watched as her family applied makeup, dusted their hands, and became the tumbling dumpties. Won't you join us, honey? asked her mom, Dorothy, before each show. Every time, Dimity shook her head. No, thank you, she replied. At showtime, the tumbling dumpties brought the circus crowd to its feet with breathtaking displays of daring. The great Dominic Dumpty threw his son, Humpty, high in the air. Humpty turned end over end, the circus lights glinting in his fragile shell. Then, Dorothy and Dominic Dumpty flew from the trapeze high above the circus ring. To Dimity, in the shadows below, her mother looked beautiful, transformed like a butterfly. But as the crowd roared in, the spotlight pushed like a bright finger across the tent, she looked for a quieter place. Up above the circus ground, she blew into her silver flute, soft as a snail on a cabbage leaf quiet as the grass growing on the hill, gentle as a beetle's breath, making sounds known only to birds and things that slide in the night. No spotlight had ever caught Dimity in its bright glare. One hot summer day, when Humpty's turn was over and their parents were still spinning and tumbling in the top of the tent, Humpty and Dimity opened the roof of the camper. Dimity's fingers found a cool little tune on her flute. Humpty's fingers found his mom's lipstick. That's not too clever, Humpty, gasped Dimity when she saw what he was doing. To write your name on your own wall? When their parents returned from the spotlight, moisture still drying on their hot shells, Dominic's foot tapped and Dorothy's finger quivered. Clean it off right now, Humpty, said his mom or trouble will come knocking at your door. And trouble did come calling the following afternoon when Humpty, once more with time on his hands, found a can of spray paint by the old factory wall. Yes, trouble arrived along with the storm clouds brewing over the town. Humpty climbed onto the wall, sprayed his name, and slipped. Passing soldiers and the horses were no help at all. It's only an egg, said one soldier to another, and they returned to the barracks. 
Only an egg? Only an egg? This egg, however naughty was screaming, was someone's brother. That Humpty had a great fall is known well enough. What is not known is the courage of his little sister. Far away on the other side of the circus, Dimity heard a tremor in the wind and felt a flutter right down deep in her little shell. She picked up her skirts and ran. Dimity stopped. Her hands went to her face. She took a deep breath, then removed her t-shirt and bandaged Humpty's leakage. She laid her little flute along Humpty's leg and wrapped her skirt around it. She tried to stop passerby. Please help my brother, she called, but nobody heard her. There was only one thing to do. Once more, she ran. Dimity reached the tent, slowly lifted the flap, and found her voice. My brother has taken a tumble and needs help. In the hospital, Humpty received lots of visitors and lots of chocolates. Even the soldiers came when they heard it on the radio. We are sorry, Humpty, the captain said. What can we do to make up for this? How about a ride on your horse when I get out? Asked Humpty at once. A big cheer for Dimity and as many of her brother's chocolates as she can eat, said a clown. Somewhere down behind her mother's skirts, Dimity blushed. Dimity is still shy and timid as a field mouse. She has never returned to the spotlight, nor joined the tumbling dumpties, but she has changed. And there has been a change around the circus too. In the mornings, when the bright lights from the last night's show are only a memory, Dimity's silver flute can be heard in the sunlight in the shadows of the circus grounds. The music slips under doorways, through skylights and windows, as surely and pleasantly as the smell of hot chocolate. The high notes fly like swifts on a summer's morning and the low notes whisper like wind in the pine trees. But Dimity's tunes can still be heard right across the circus ground. They sparkle like the sun on the water. It's the music of the heavens, says the ringmaster. Let the tent come down, but all in good time. Only when she can play no more does the tent come down until the next stop and the next show somewhere down the road. As for Humpty, he made a full recovery and has put away his spray paint. He now flies on the trapeze with the tumbling dumpties and he rides the captain's horse in an act of his own. The end. Well, readers, I hope you enjoyed that read a lot of Dimity Dumpty, the story of Humpty's little sister. Even though Dimity was as quiet as a field mouse and did not enjoy being in the spotlight, she was able to find the courage to help her brother in the time when he needed it most, even if it meant doing something she did not like doing. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you next time on our next Read Aloud on Reading with Christy. See you later.